you would plug your tool into here and your vacuum into here. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a tool that I think every carpenter should have. Anyone who's using dust collection at a job site or in your shop, this is something that uh, it just makes your life a lot easier and, and you know, cleaner. And I'm all about being clean, as you know from my other videos. I love dust collection. I've got the Festool HepaVac and other HepaVacs as well, like the DeWalt one and so on. But um, this tool right here, you got to have. And all it is, is a plug. Okay? That's all it looks like right here. Very simple. And this is the eye socket auto switch. Now, there's other brands out there that are very similar to this and they all work pretty much the same way. Um, I was looking on Amazon, I found one made by this company, DGC, and it's a little bit bigger, which is actually, it's a better unit than this one. I don't own it, but I'll leave a link down below for it. I think it's like 50 bucks or something. So check it out if you're interested, but um, it works pretty much identical to this. And I'll explain how this works. So when I go to a job site and I want to set up sort of a small shop, um, I always have a dust collector on my chop saws or say my power planer or uh, what else, anything corded like a table saw even. And from that, I don't want to have to bend down and flick on my vacuum all the time. It's nice just to turn this on and you automatically get suction. So Festool, this is a Festool hose, they, they've incorporated that into their vacuum. Um, so has DeWalt with their HepaVac. And I think quite honestly, a lot of HepaVacs have this option where they have two or they have a plug where you put your tool into it and that powers your tool. So when you, you know, go to use your, your tool, the vacuum will kick on. Now, this is basically that same concept, but you can use it with any old vacuum. So you would plug your tool into here and your vacuum into here, and then you plug this into power. So we're gonna do that. And all we're gonna be using for a vacuum is just a simple five horsepower, four gallon rigid vacuum. These are super cheap. I think you can pick them up for like under a hundred bucks, but um, that's all we're gonna use is not a HepaVac and it's just simply gonna do some sucking here. I'm not gonna cut any wood, I'm just gonna show you the operation. So this is my vac plug, so we'll get that in. Okay, and this is the tool. And then we hook up the power. So we, we turn the vacuum to the on position and then when we turn this on, it will power the vacuum as well. And you'll hear it all kick on and the vacuum is gonna stay on a few seconds after I stop the saw, which is a really nice feature because what it does is it, it just clears out any dust and debris that's still you know kicking around. So it's a really great fe feature to have. So here we go. So you see, that was almost five seconds maybe, I don't know, four seconds. But uh, very simple, if you're, if you're running a, a shop or you're setting up on site and you wanna keep that site nice and clean, these are great to have. And I think this unit is, you know, 20, 30 bucks. And the, uh, the larger unit that, I'll, that I found a link for, I think is like 50 bucks or something. So I highly recommend them. I have a bunch of them um, and they just make, you know, my life a lot cleaner and simpler on site. And, you know, because I have a lot of vacuums, you can have a vacuum for each tool. Or if you had splitters, you can split off and, and hit a bunch of tools with one vacuum. You could hook this up. It doesn't even have to be a vacuum. It could be a dust collector. If you've got like a mobile, um, Delta, like those Delta uh, dust collectors, or I can't think of any others off the top of my hand, but um, 
they're just super handy to have. All right, guys, love to hear some comments. What are you using out there? Are you just sticking with, you know, Festool, Hepavax, Dewalt Hepavax, stuff like that? Or are you using something like this where you're not investing, you know, 500 to to $1,000 for a vacuum and you can just get away with something like this? So love to hear your comments. Uh, subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.